Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. Yeah, good. See, I can see that smile and I can see your eyes with no mask on. Oh my gosh, this is so special. <laughs> oh, listen. We are just so thrilled that you wrote what you did and as quickly as you did and, and the fact that, uh, you know, you thought of that was uh, was really cool and you took the time to write it out and uh, I wanted to be able to personally thank you for going to work and doing what you do. This is a very, very difficult time and I'm sure it's even more difficult being at the front line and seeing what you're seeing, so thank you. Actually, I, I've been trying to find ways to de-stress and different ways I can express myself and so when you had wrote that, I'm actually kind of a shy person and I I had just started watching Murdoch Mysteries last year and I watched the whole season embarrassingly in a very short amount of time and I kept watching it and my Facebook said you should join this you should follow him and I thought no I'm I'm too shy I won't and uh, I thought no you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm, I'm gonna do this and so when I saw you had posted that on your Instagram I think it was I thought wow you know what I, I learned something about myself today. Maybe I should share it because I actually didn't realize I've been nursing for 16 years and I didn't realize what I looked like in a mask. I'd never taken a picture of myself. And so we have to wear them all the time, all the time. Now from the minute we get into the hospital, we wear them. And I thought, Oh, I'm going to take a moment. I'm actually going to take a picture of myself at work and see, this is what I look like. And I was, very surprised. I looked very severe. I did not look kind or happy or the way I felt. And I thought, but I'm breaking the seal. What am I going to do about this? And a lot of the nurses opt for wearing a face shield, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. But it expo it, you can be exposed. So a lot of them look very severe when they go into these rooms. I thought, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I found goggles to wear over top and it, it keeps it sealed. So I can still smile and it's just, um, it seals, it opens into the goggles. So I thought oh. this is something I can do. Wow, so that's really critical. It's down to that, even that slight just breaking the seal is, is, is uh, important to watch. Wow, that's, that's really something. Whew. Yeah, because it's such a natural thing to do. Someone says something, you smile, but wow, it could potentially be dangerous for you to do that. So, wow. <laughs> I can't imagine. Thank you. Thank you very much for, <laughs> for doing what you do. And thank you for sharing about it, taking the, that two minutes to sort of log on to our account and to tell your story. It's, it's really great. Thanks. I think it's, it's good for me too to do stuff like that. My husband and I have four kids and we're trying to do online school at home and and we both need little ways to reach out to other people than our children or to just be at work. <laughs> yeah. And he's working from home too. So that was something that I thought, you know what, I'm going to write about this. This is so cathartic for me to say something. So, and if nobody read it, that's okay. And <laughs> it was just nice to say. Well, I think at the end of the week, a lot of people will know about it. And uh, you'll be thanked by a lot of people if you haven't been already. <laughs> <laughs> and how are so, you uh, so i'm good I'm, I'm actually i'm on a 14 day quarantine uh self uh, isolation at home as per the uh, cra when i when i arrived back here in canada um that was mandated immediately so i'm going a little bit squirrely but you know it, it helps to be able to talk to people and and uh, um, video conferencing like that like, like like we're doing right now is a big help because you can actually you know you can i have an obtuse sense of humor so sometimes i have to use my face to be able to communicate and uh it's a relief to be able to do that yeah i agree we've been um because i actually so i'm a surgical nurse but our units have been turned some of them have been turned into covid units because we've yeah, shut down actually. surgery yeah so we've shut down surgery on a lot of the units and i'm actually a casual but i work every week because we have four kids i still work but when i go and i don't always know where i'm going and so i'm placed wherever wherever i go 
And so I talked with my husband. I said, you know, at some point, I'm going to come into contact with people with COVID for sure. I mean, it's, it's happening everywhere. So how do you feel about me going to work? Because I don't have to work. I, I enjoy working. I think I'm very good at what I do. But, you know, how do you feel about our family? Because this has to be a decision we make together. And he said, oh, it's fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. And it's true. I actually work with isolated patients anyway all the time. I have for the last 16 years. So for me, it's, it's a little bit different. There's still some elements of it that are the same. But just taking into account our, ki our kids, you know, if I come home, I give up going to the store now. I don't feel I'm somebody that should go because I work, I work directly with people with COVID-19. So he goes and shops. I'm pretty isolated. Nobody comes, obviously, to our house. It's, it's a bit isolating for me, but I think it's needed. And I think it's important that I, I'm there and I'm working and I can. My kids don't like when I go to work. However, oh, really? <laughs> the first time I, I was going and they said, mommy, don't go. We don't want you to get COVID-19. And I said, you know what? When you have a skill and you have a talent, it's not meant to be hidden. You know, we can't be scared. We have to go out there and do everything we can. You know, like you're, we're all given something to do every day and you, nobody in our family is at risk. So I'm, an, I, I'm a good person to go. I fill in on the COVID units whenever they need me. Great. I worked there yesterday. I, I'm working there tonight. And I think that's just something that I can do. Well, I thank you. On behalf of our, <laughs> our country, if I'm, if I'm maybe <laughs> possible, I thank you very much. Uh, yeah, it's it's interesting, you know, because I, I I was sort of persuaded to share a bit of what I'm doing or what I'm up to or what I'm going through during this pandemic, and I was really really taken aback by by um, people's response. Uh, you know, I, I just I've I guess I've never really given myself or my profession or or my show or just celebrity in general uh, much credit. Um, and because that's not one of the things I gravitate to personally, whereas a lot of other people do. And I, I took for granted what I was able to do for a lot of people by sharing what I was going through, uh, which some of it is not good, not pretty, not great. And, um, and like you said, you know, I guess we all have talents and, uh, I'm glad I've got a good bank's worth of work that people can watch and, and, and enjoy and, you know pass the time with but I, I was really surprised that you know I could come on to here or you know with my phone or on social media and stuff and, and it was very much welcomed I was I was kind of shocked so a little tiny bit as effective as what you're doing but um, yeah. it, it really is amazing how we're all looking to connect and 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 this really odd odd time I really appreciate your show. I watch it all the time. It's the first thing in my Netflix feed. Like I just put on an episode when I'm doing laundry, when I'm doing something. But I kept watching the series over and over and over again. I thought maybe I should watch something else. Like I, <laughs> I like I really enjoy it so much. And I, it was nice that Netflix put it on in Canada because then I could start from the beginning and not jumping in the middle because it's hard with kids to sometimes get into something, right? Yep. So. Um, yeah, like for somebody like me, the one night I came home last week and it was so heavy on the unit I was on and it was so much stress and you could see it in everybody's eyes. You could feel it, the tension and we're all professionals and everybody I work with is excellent, but you could tell it was getting to us and I drove home. It's late at night. Everybody's asleep and I, and I got outside at the car and I looked up and and the stars were out, and I just had tears. And I wasn't sad, but I had to release that. And then I thought, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go inside and watch the Murdoch Mysteries because that makes me feel better. So that's what I did. And so for people like me, I mean, I think it's good to embrace our emotions. So like, if you're sad, to cry about it, to um, just, I do an examine at the end of every day, like. Was I a good mom? Was I a good nurse? Was I a good wife? 
know, did I call my dad? Because I can't see him right now because he's an at-risk person. And when I, I do that, I think that's important, but I think also having something that you can just have fun with, something you can just watch, something you can play. My mom texted me, <laughs> speaking of which, so as soon as we're done, I have to go <laughs> and talk that's, to her. That's so funny. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like for, you know, your talent is very helpful for someone like me. And I know, um, you know, I have friends that watch other nurses I know that watch. So yeah, I think there's something that we can all give every day just because we're isolated doesn't mean that the day can't have satisfaction that, you know, we could live, say, and this probably won't happen, but say we live like this for years, what would you do every day to feel as though your day was complete? Did you feel whole? Did you make, did you have a purpose? Did you do something that was worth it? And, and then did you have some fun? Did you stop thinking about COVID for 15 minutes and do something? And, and that's what I've been focusing on. And it is very good. Fantastic. Well, listen, you've probably got a million things to do because four kids. I always do. Better. What are their ages? Um, we have three girls and a boy. So 11, 9, 6, and 2. Yeah, so you need your time <laughs> back. Oh my gosh. Well, good for you. Thank you again. Thank you very much for everything that you do. Thank your husband for sharing you with us. And, uh, and, and thank you for coming on here so that we can collectively thank you for what you do. Well, thank you very much from everybody that I know. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all the best. You take care. Thanks. And I was glad to have met you. You too. Me I'll too. see you on Instagram. <laughs> you will. <laughs>